So let's talk about selling. How many of you are going to go into sales when you graduate? Or who wants to do it as a career? At least to start out. One brave soul. I knew you did, because you came up to me and you took the initiative, right on. Why, why don't the rest of you want to be in sales? It's hard. Because nobody wants to be like that car salesman guy. Okay, if you make a deal right now in this minute, I'll give you that big discount. Right? That's what everybody thinks salespeople do. Right? If you buy that Ginsu knife right now, I'll give you a set of two. I mean, okay, so here's the, th here's the funny thing about it. Everybody's in sales. And you're selling all the time. And when you're in business, you're selling all the time. Sometimes it's not external selling. There's a lot of internal selling. You're selling to your friends all the time. So my pitch to you is, if you're doing it all the time, everywhere, why not learn how to do it well and the components of it, even if you're not going to do it as a profession? So sales really boils down to kind of a process. Okay, and here are some of the terms. I'll, I'll give you like the quick sales 101. Right? I'll do it in a little exercise. Um, what's your name? Chelsea. Chelsea. Hey, Chelsea. Let's go do. Let's go do some. Let's go grab something to eat afterwards. Let's grab a couple of people. Um, hey, want to do Thai food? No. <laughs> no. Um, have you ever tried Thai food? No. It's just like Chinese food. <laughs> do you like Chinese food? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, what have you heard about Thai food that may, makes you not want to go? Uh, spicy. Uh, it's really spicy. <laughs> you know, they have stuff that's not spicy. Um, they have some sweet stuff, some really nice. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you, uh, you know what? Haley didn't like it either, and she went and she loved it. So, Chelsea, you know what? I'll tell you what. Let's grab a couple people. If you don't like it, I'll pay, I'll pay for your, your meal. So she said yes, and I didn't go on. Okay, so what did I just do? I sold. That's right. I made a proposal. And then she kind of said, uh-oh, no, right? And so I came back and said, and I tried to use a testimonial, or I tried to, I tried to give her a demo. Okay, now, my demo was, hey, it's just like Chinese food, right? In other ways, you can show or you can test track. I mean, there's the de whole concept of demo is a little squishy there, right? And then she kind of said, well, you know, no, I still want to go. I don't, I don't like spicy food. Hey, in sales, they actually teach you, if you're going to be successful, you want to uncover objections. So the fact that she now told me why, I can go after that. Okay? So it's good to uncover obje objections. Of course, this is a part that everybody hates. right? You hate objections because you know, it's like, it's like, oh no, she's gonna say no to me at the dance. You know, I'm, this is gonna be embarrassing. But you never think about it in that context that I just gave you, right? So you wanna uncover objections. And then you go to, for the trial close. So, you know, what do you think? We'll get a couple of people. Uh, you know what, I'll pay your way if you don't like it. Okay, done, stop talking, you've closed, you've got it, move on. This happens all the time. Now, now you're going to see this stuff throughout your whole life. You're going to remember what I just gave you. And so my, 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 the point I'm getting is, it's not bad to learn the whole point of it, the whole process of selling. And it happens in business all the time. You're doing it all the time.